fundamental psychology. And fundamental psychology, this is where we get into self-knowledge. And, the, and the fundamental psychology deals with the five levels of the human being. Uh, and which are the consciousness, the higher part. And then we have, uh, at the lowest end, we have the physical body, which is like the furthest from who we are. You know, we can modify our bodies almost end endlessly, even cut off our limbs, you know, have uh, fake arms or, or what have you. But ultimately, we are still that consciousness within us, so to speak. But And the physical body is also... The physical body is um, composed of many other organisms and things like that, and organs that work uh, uh, that function automatically. Like we don't have to, we don't have to uh, tell our liver to do its job or or uh, focus on uh, beating our heart uh, uh, every second. It, it, all that takes care of itself, and that is. But still, we we cannot deny that we are in some sense connected uh, to our, bo our body in, in that we have to relate to our bodies even if we are not our bodies but still that is like the lowest dimension or the outer dimension of who, who we are and then between uh, the inner consciousness and the outer body there are three levels which are related to uh, our life energy and these three levels are the intellect which is uh, which is uh, second to consciousness, you could say. And then you have emotions and feelings, and uh, which relate a lot to the social sphere. And then uh, uh, closer to the body, or between emotions and the body, are the sensory motor level, or the sort of our vital, the purest expression of our vital life force which uh, has to do with uh, hunger and, and the instincts, the basic desire for creature comfort and things like that. And so that is fundamental psychology and how we, whenever we are trying to deal with integration and functionality in the human being, we, we, need, to, we need to deal with all of these dimensions and, and not forget one of them. So we need to understand uh, that we are more uh, than just our feelings or intellect, that we have this mysterious consciousness or knower beyond all this. Uh, and then also that we, that we are prone to get ideas and that we need some kind of knowledge to orient ourselves and create a, a unity in, in culture by having similar values and things like that. So that deals with the intellect and we need to deal with that and keep that in mind. And emotions has to do with with uh, with health, uh, with uh, with uh, not creating hostility and trying to achieve some kind of self-control. Practice controlling our emotions and understanding our emotions and what it is that triggers us and why it triggers us, and also to deal with relationships, how to develop more compassionate feelings towards others uh, especially if they are natural obviously there are cases when there can be legitimate to use shaming tactics you know if someone is throwing batteries in nature or really doing really stupid uh, things that are not natural then then uh, i guess there could be some use for social shaming but when social shaming is done towards something that is natural, uh, like something a person cannot change, you know, someone has some kind of uh, uh, impairment that is partly biological or something, you know, they, ha they have Down syndrome or something and people are mocking them, you know, that's quite cruel and not, uh, not very cool. So that is something uh, people need to take into consideration and uh, with the vital life force the instincts it has to do with uh, f you know that has to do a lot with feeling a sense of personal substance that we are not just walking around like phantoms dreaming about things or feeling things but we need to express ourselves and and uh, really feel like we are alive and we do that best by being honest and expressing our energies 
Uh, and there we have to discover and try to figure out what is our authentic energies and what is like imitation, what is conditioning and what is false within us. So that idea of trying to discover what is what is uh, culture and what is nature is very important and worth trying to discover if we are interested in truth and in who we are and whether or not people should live for if it is human if we should live as humans to be human or if we should live to be something else like yeah uh, because can something that is meant to be one thing we are meant to be human beings whatever that means and if so, some kind of culture or authority want us to become something else, something more specific, then is that really what we are meant to be? And so, yeah, we we need to. Uh, that is very important, and something that I often see missing in other teachings. And so, uh, that's fu fundamental psychology. I forgot that I referred to that as fundamental psychology. I, I used to simply refer refer to, refer to it as the the five levels of the human being or something like that but yeah fundamental psychology is a good term